From 12 News, this is Arizona Nightly News. A big story making news in eastern Arizona tonight. Who can forget the record freezing temperatures we had a couple of weeks ago? And then you couple that with the below zero temperatures with the big blast of snow in the high country over the past two months. And the folks living along the Mugion Rim got a big shock when they opened up their electric bill. As Tricia Hendricks found, the weather, though, isn't the only problem. Power plants running full speed through the winter time as customers crank up their heaters and energy use goes up. It's cost us a ton of money. Here in the White Mountains, some Navapache Electric Co-op customers are getting heated, saying their power bills recently doubled. It really was a, quite a shock. These neighbors shared the numbers with us. And it was three forty nine ninety nine. And the place is only, what, 800 square foot? Others are wondering where the money's going to come from to pay their next bill. $400 a month, that's a car payment. You know, that's not, that's not an electric bill, that's a car payment. They want answers and a better understanding about how the co-op's new smart meters are read remotely. I don't think they're reading it, and I told them I didn't think so. I feel like that I'm not getting ripped off is what I'd like to know. Well, the Navapache CEO Chuck Moore is not going on camera regarding this issue. He did send me an email answering some questions regarding the rate increase. He says part of the reason they have to raise their customers' rates is because their wholesale power supplier costs are going up due to things like fuel, renewable energy, and environmental regulations. As customers continue to feel powered less, in the meantime, their neighbor Eric Neitzel's keeping tabs on the complaints on a community Facebook page. I've normally just paid my bills and, you know, lived with it. But now that I'm a single dad, you know, contractor, self-employed, you know, you got to look at these things. The co-op CEO says making small changes like using CLF lighting, putting caulk around windows and doors, and adding additional insulation will help customers save some. Customers say they've done what they can and they still aren't satisfied. It just doesn't make sense. From the White Mountains, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. Navapache Electric is a not-for-profit rural electric cooperative. The last time the co-op raised its rates was more than 10 years ago.